we had peace and love at home before the civil war took it all away from me. Welcome back. We're talking about the current situation in the world's youngest country, South Sudan. Committing terrible atrocities against their own people. They are now on the verge of destroying the very country they fought for. There were a large number of African South Sudanese being captured and sold by Northern Arabs. So the obvious question is, why should we care? What does this have to do with us? In Juba, the capital of South Sudan, this United Nations camp was supposed to be temporary. It's very difficult to see these people living in the kind of fear that they have. This is every single day these people have to live this. Let's push and pressure the government of Sudan to make the kind of compromises necessary for peace. Move from one refugee camp to another until life find a safe heaven. <laughs> My siblings, my my mother, my grandmother, and my father. Having my family around was the biggest blessing I have ever had. The amount of deaths that have occurred because of this conflict. It has to stop. Many of my family members died or were killed before we could be reunited.